Hello and welcome to the Minutes Within the Mist, where we peer into the mysterious places to find tales of cryptids, ghosts, and other mysteries for you. Today, thanks to a request, we will travel to Norway to face the Bloody Monk. The Nidaros Cathedral in Norway is a medieval cathedral built in 1070, and then later restored in 1814. It has been the location in which several generations of Norwegians have seen the ghost of a bloody monk. Printed in the newspaper Oftenposten in 1930, a bishop's wife by the name of Marie Giedich first saw a most gruesome vision of the monk during a church service in 1924. As the priest was singing a hymn, she saw the apparition of a medieval monk first standing in an archway of the cathedral. The figure's sad, bright blue eyes locked with hers as it proceeded to walk right through one of the choir members attending the Mass. While the priest was in front of the altar, the monk moved behind him. Alarmed, Marie saw this ghostly figure place its hands around the priest's throat and began to strangle him. Others in the church saw the hands encircle the priest's neck, but could not see the rest of him. The entire congregation became alarmed at the sight. Then, the monk raised his head to expose its neck, which had a stripe of blood across his throat, as though it had been cut through. The bishop's wife averted her eyes downwards, only to look up a moment later to see that the monk had vanished, and then reappear standing in an area near the church archway again. The apparition removed its head from its bloody body and then disappeared. The priest who conducted the service later stated that he had a feeling of desperation and choking and that there was a sense of something was stuck in his throat. Various witnesses over the years have continued to see the monk's hands reaching out to choke people he doesn't like. I hope you enjoyed the minutes with the bloody monk, and if you have a request, please let me know in the comments and join us at the Within the Mist podcast. But until then, make your way out of the mist safely and remain constantly curious.